So far, here are the peak wind gusts, 40 in Fort Worth, 40 in Denton, but uh, 47 in Archer City. So almost a 50 mile per hour gust there, uh, 44 mile per hour gust in Eastland. It's still breezy. The 67 degree high today uh, was only 10 degrees warmer than our 57 degree low. The normal is 71 and 50. Right now it's 66 gusts still up there, 33 miles per hour. Uh, dew points in the mid 50s. It's actually not a bad thing. Middle 50 dew points that just gives you a measure of moisture in the air. Uh, that helps with the severe risk keeping it low. It's not zero for sure. It's a level two in the Metroplex. It's a little bit uh, less to the east of the Dallas Fort Worth area. This will be the area first western portions of North Texas that could see some hail and damaging wind gusts with thunderstorms that will stay scattered in nature like we're seeing. They're, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to pop up here and we're seeing them not succeed down toward Abilene and Albany, but uh, clearly here if you look, there's actually a tornado warning just west of Wichita Falls with that supercell. I'll keep a real close eye on this, but uh, that supercell moving to Wichita Falls. This is going to move into Oklahoma. That will not impact North Texas. Anything that forms in this area could and the tornado risk very, very low. It's higher to the north, higher toward Wichita Falls, higher into Oklahoma. Here it's extremely low, mainly a hail risk, some damaging wind gust later tonight. We'll see if anything scattered can pop up like I showed you the stuff toward Albany and Abilene not really succeeding. It's trying, but uh, we'll see what happens over the next few hours. If thunderstorms can get going here before the line takes shape late tonight, some of those storms could produce some hail and some damaging winds. There's 9 p.m., so there could be some scattered thunderstorms really close to the Metroplex, up to Denton, possibly Gainesville, Decatur. The more, the most likely scenario, and what we're really expecting to be widespread, is late tonight into the overnight. There's 11. There's midnight. We'll have a line form here from Brownwood up to Gainesville. This will be in Denton County and Tarrant County at one o'clock in the morning. It'll be right in the heart of the Metroplex around 2, 3 a.m. from Collin County down to Dallas County. It'll move east of the Metroplex uh, around daybreak, just, just before sunrise here. This will become less intense, but there will certainly be some heavy rain still. But the severe threat at this time uh, for daybreak, really very low from 5 to 7 o'clock in the morning. Rain is in eastern portions of North Texas and East Texas by, uh, by 7 o'clock. So again, Dallas Fort Worth area west, that's a level two slight risk, a level one marginal lower risk of severe weather east of Dallas. So here's the coverage of rain. 40% at 10, it's that really scattered stuff. It becomes widespread by midnight, three o'clock in the morning. That's when that line's moving in. Uh, notice how the coverage of rain starts to dwindle. By 10 a.m., we're down to 10%. Take a look. There's nine o'clock in the morning. See all the rain to the east? There's a secondary chance of rain later in the evening. This would just be a little bit of rain. Maybe a rumble of thunder, nothing severe. Uh, Monday evening as a cold front moves through the area, that will cool us down. Uh, we'll have highs, some of you in the 50s. Tuesday afternoon with lows in the 30s, Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Tonight, 56, rain and thunderstorms in the forecast. Tomorrow, 73, some sunshine for the, I mean, once we get past the morning with the rain, we'll have a pretty sunny day. Then the cold front comes in. That'll cool us down, 61 on Tuesday, 62 Wednesday. 71 Thursday for the Rangers home opener. Good Friday, still looking dry. 77 Sunday, low chance for a shower or storm for Easter. I'm liking the trends. It looks warmer, but it's starting to look a little less rainy. I like that. Let's keep that up. Monday and Tuesday, another chance for some showers and storms. Uh, beyond that, highs in the 70s for the first week of April with some Mavs games uh, thrown in there too, right here on WFAN.